Hi guys, I am Takia Talia. I'm coming to you guys with a new little series that I'm creating called The Entrepreneurship. Um, it's basically going to give you some little tips and things like that of being your own boss and starting your own business. So, a little background about me. I am a makeup artist here in Flint, Michigan. I travel back home sometimes to Eudora, Arkansas and I do work a little bit of everywhere. So, um, you guys can like and follow my Facebook page, Every Red by Takia Talia. I will link a uh, the link in the description, and you can subscribe here. <laughs> um, I will be posting these videos on YouTube and also on my business Facebook page, so you guys can, you know, keep up and follow the progress of my company. So, um, I sell cosmetics also. So, I feel like since I'm a makeup artist, I might as well do something I love and also sell cosmetics. So, I sell lip glosses, hence the lips, um, lip liners, I'm finna start selling lipsticks, and uh, lip balms now. And I have this new creation, it's a lip glitz, kinda like the Keisha K or a lip dupe or whatever for the glittery lipsticks. It's just you pat it on and boom, you got glitter lips and they are so cute, so amazing. They come in different colors. So I will also leave that down in the description bar if you guys want to shop or something. And I have a Beauty Bread skincare line. Um, I have the exfoliating green tea scrub. I have the rose water. I have the body oils. I have the um, body shimmer sprays. And I have some new creations getting ready to drop soon. Excuse me. I also have some chunky glitters on the website. Custom um, chunky glitters. You cannot find these bad boys anywhere. Because, I mean, no shade to nobody else. But I hand make my own. And I know, like, what colors go. So, like I said, no shade. Like, this series. We just have different creative aspects. Different minds. So, it is what it is. And uh, I also have... I have a lot of stuff on the website. I have these lashes. They come in three different styles. I have on the Famous Lash. Um, they are named after the boutique I'm working in. Famous uh, Fame Boutique. They're called the Famous Lash because as soon as you put these bad boys on, you become famous. Somehow, like, you're a beauty brat. Period. So, <laughs> um, I have those and... I have, like I said, some eyeshadows coming out, and I just, you know, stay tuned for a lot of more things that I have coming, because I have so much planned for you guys. So, back to the basics, um, I would say for starters, you do not necessarily have to have money to start a business, because there's been situations and times where I've run across people that didn't have a dime to their name, and maybe somebody, like, sponsored them or got them a gift or something. Um, if you don't have money, I say the best way. You can probably set up like a GoFundMe account, um, have like friends or family give you something, um, like support you, um, part-time job or something. And, you know, if you have money, I would say before you do any buying, please research because a lot of times what we mess up is like we rush in to get like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that, I got this plan. You don't have anything planned until you actually... Is written down, documented, and looked over, studied, things like that. Um, so make sure you like plan everything that you have in tune or in store because you never want to just rush out there and put together a business because that's not how it works. Um, make sure that you like research your vendors, the products that you use because I've had my business since 2017, but I stopped. In 2017, but I didn't say stop. I would like say pause. I paused in 2017 to like make sure that my formulas was right. Um, I planned, got new vendors, um, studied a lot of things like studied my skincare because if I have a skincare line, I need to make sure I know what I'm doing when I'm creating these products. Um, and you know, just basically go hard before pushing it out there so you it's ways you can go hard without just going hard um which means 
put some thought into your work um create a work ethic for yourself you can go to the dollar store and get you a little planner or something or you can even go online and print off little on um, worksheets and things like that and just go to the dollar store and get you a binder and just plan this stuff out um for me i had to like make sure i had all my stuff together because i'm just a super organized person um uh, anybody that knows me personally know like i just cannot throw something out there which is like a habit that i have of causing me to have setbacks and things because i won't just push it out there i would like pause a little bit and try to make sure everything is like coming together and on a roll but it can be a problem so make sure that you do not cause yourself that problem by trying to be a perfectionist just make sure that you work like a student doing a textbook um doing work out of a textbook you just want to make sure that you're going to be safe with yourself and your money and your products because you do not just want to push something out there um not knowing what it is like your those clients can't even come up to you and ask you a question about what your product is because you can't you know you don't know you don't have an answer because you just push it out there so research is your number one factor um well money and then research is your your number two factor because like i said you don't have to have money to start a business but it would be best if you invested some money into your business because you don't want to start a month like a business without any money and then boom you don't know what's going on you know you don't know what's going to happen so make sure you have some money or something or get gifts and make money or do something that you have for later for your business basically is what i'm saying you're gonna get it don't go don't let it go over your head you're gonna get it so even if it's a gift, like somebody give you $5 right now, put that $5 up, honey. I don't care if you put it up in a piggy bank, put it in your savings, put it somewhere. Save that for your business. For two, um, like I said, that's just doing your research. For three, make sure that your packaging and everything is going to be perfect. That falls under the category of research because I had someone that I could, you know, trust, which is www.artist.design.com. Um, her name is Tisha Smith. She's located in, I want to say Southfield, but I'm going to just say Detroit to be on the safe side. Um, she has this special on her website that she allows people to type in their logo thing and, um, it's a pre-made logo basically and it's only fifty dollars so i got one of those to see how i would like you know my brand name and things beforehand so um i'm gonna leave her information in the description so you guys can check her out because she's pretty dope she creates the packaging and all that but you don't have to just use her you could use anybody you want to use but um i looked up her stuff plus she's my best friend's sister so i kind of knew already that she has some dope material for me to use for my business so i got business cards i got my logo i'm in the process of getting a banner um i got these little baggies for my bundle sets so the bundle sets contain like eyeshadow palettes and all that stuff in one and i got these bags created that say breed bread buy to kids to live so you guys can have like the bags to put your bundles in um yeah so she basically created that for me so packaging and everything is like a must because that's what's going to catch the customer's eye um also you can start off doing pre-orders which is what i did i did a few pre-orders but i would recommend that you have all your items on hand because it makes it easier for you and your clientele to like purchase and things like that because you don't want to like do pre-orders and then you go to your vendor and try to order and then it's out of stock or something you have to refund that money or that customer will get angry and cause a dispute or you know try to get a refund and things like that so um it's best that you get all your items on hand make sure that you have uh doing business as or a ein that is most important because here's a little trick when you get on instagram you can um do hashtags to build your business up and you can do like, from instance, my business, Beauty Bread. Hashtag Beauty Bread. I can go in there, hashtag, and see everybody that like has that name somewhere in their business. And people can take your name if you don't have, you know, your name bought or something. So you need to make sure that you have all that stuff um, already prepared. So can anybody use your name because you don't want to get halfway through a growing business and then, boom, somebody come out the woodworks with 
booty beats or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, just taking your name and then you're like, wow, I invested so much and I have to change my name. That's another thing. So make sure that you guys like get some um EIN numbers or LLCs or something to protect your business because that right there, matter of fact, that should have been number one. That right there is super important because people will come take your name in the snap of a finger. Like you don't want that to happen. So um for me I'm still in the process of getting mine, but trust me, I'm learning right along with you guys about the whole process of being an entrepreneur. So, um, that's the third thing or the fourth thing. I'm not even going to number these no more because they're just rolling off the top of my head. So, um, also make sure that, okay, like I said, I have a cosmetic business. You want to make sure that you are sanitary. I have run across too many businesses that have not been sanitary at all and they want to keep promoting and selling things so it's just like make sure you are a clean person you know that's going to be able to help your clientele like you know like I got this um sanitized it's safe it's not been anywhere that's not clean you know you want to give them that that ensure to that there's a thing i'm sorry y'all somebody keep buzzing their car or something out there but um that's all i can think of right now next time i'm gonna have some notes for you guys i'm gonna bullet point it up on the screen so y'all can know but i just want you guys to stay tuned for this series and just you know know that somebody's out there going to teach you because these are things that I'm learning along with you and I had I wish that I had somebody to tell me these things when I was starting my business like I had my mother but when she passed away it was like okay so now I have to finish all these steps by myself and just figure it out which is a hassle but it's going to be okay so yeah um make sure you like comment and subscribe to this video follow the beauty bread page um i'm gonna leave some links down for you guys that want to like find vendors and things like that um well that's actually gonna be a separate video so i'll leave those links in that video but um i'm gonna leave my shop information just stay tuned because i have some great things in store um that's just a little snippet because i don't want to make this video too long but that's just a little snippet of what i have um started off with and much more to come and you know i just want to encourage all the business owners out there you know it's tough being a business owner it's tough being a young entrepreneur because i'm only 20 and it has not been peaches and cream i have some trials and tribulations that i've been going through outside of just business it's been personal things so just keep your head up don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it because sweetheart you got this and at the end of the day it is what it is it is what it ain't and that's all it's gonna be so you just have to be your best you put your best foot forward and do what you do at the end of the day because nobody's gonna run that business but you and get that off the ground you know keep your head lifted high because at the end of the day you got you your family got you hopefully you know family not even always the supportive part or whatever they not the ones that we worry about you worry about you sweetheart you worry about you boo and i just want you guys to know that i'm just going to be here for you i don't have to know you personally but i'm going to be here for you because i know what it feels like to be in that in that headspace in that business so just keep running your business if you think about start that business start that business sweetheart don't let nobody tell you that you can't start your business because you can just follow your your dreams your tips everything and just keep your head on straight just tunnel vision and that's it so i hope that little encouragement helped you guys um like i said stay tuned for more that's in order and Check out the website if you want to make some purchases, test some things out. I also do wholesale, so even if you don't want to like um, create your own products, you can purchase from me. Just message me um, on here or on the page or whatever, and we can put some things in order. Just know that you are the best you. It is what it is. It ain't what it ain't, and that's all it's going to be. Stay tuned for the new, the entrepreneurship, and just, you know, I ain't gonna say I love you guys because I don't know you guys. No, just kidding. But I love you guys a lot. And I just want you guys to be 
the best you just put your best foot forward start that business build that company get that license get that job do whatever and just stay tuned with us on this journey and have a good day